This is a video demonstration of how to create global collections in Spectrum OneClick. Together, we'll learn how to create static collections with fixed memberships, dynamic collections with dynamic memberships, and dynamic collections based on existing locator searches. Let's begin with a static global collection. In the Explorer tab of the navigation panel, right-click on the Global Collections container and select Create Global Collection. I want to make a collection of devices in my New York network, so I'll name it New York Devices. Click OK. The collection starts empty. Let's add some members by navigating to the devices we want to add. In this case, I'll find them under Universe, a few branches in, under United States. We can sort by location to make this a bit easier. Select them all, then right-click and select Add to Global Collections. Select the New York Devices Global Collection and click OK. Static global collections are very simple to create, but harder to maintain. They're only populated by the members we manually add. For global collections where membership is a bit more fluid, there's the dynamic global collection. There's two ways to create one. The first is similar to creating a static global collection. Right-click Global Collections and select Create Global Collection. For this one, I want to have an updating collection of retail site devices that are flagged as needing an update or an upgrade. I'll name it Retail Upgrades. Instead of clicking OK, we click Search Options. You might notice this exact dialog is what appears when we create a new locator search. Dynamic Global Collections use Spectrum's search function to monitor membership. My membership criteria are complex, so I'm going to click Advanced. The first attribute is based on device name. I want every device with site in the name, because the retail site devices have a particular naming convention. I'm going to select devices only, because I don't want to monitor interfaces. And finally, I'm going to add an AND operator with the notes attribute. Instead of using contains or exact, I'm going to set the comparison type to matches pattern, and set the value to up with an asterisk. The asterisk is a wildcard, and will count anything that begins with up, as a match for this criteria. I'm doing this because I want the global collection to contain members with upgrade required or update required in the notes. Finally, I'm going to leave the update options on real-time update. Normally I wouldn't do this. A dynamic global collection running a complex search to constantly check for membership parameters is a huge drain on the system resources. But for this demonstration, my network is very small and there's no harm to Spectrum in running the searches in real time. Let's go see the new global collection. It's populated, that's for sure, but there's a problem. It included members with upgrade not required in the notes. This isn't very useful. We need to double check the parameters we used for this dynamic global collection. Right click on it and select Edit Global Collection. Click Search Options to open the Search Options dialog again. Ah, there's the problem. Because we used a wildcard, Upgrade Not Required evaluates to true, just like Upgrade Required and Update Required. They all begin with up. Let's instead use a regular expression. We'll use this text string instead. The pipe, or bar in the middle, means or. So this string evaluates as update or upgrade required. Select the old criteria and click cut to remove it and click OK. In a few moments, the collection will update. Great, this meets my requirements exactly. The second way to create a dynamic global collection is to create one from a locator search. Go to the Locator tab in the navigation panel and find the search you want to use. I already have one in mind, the US routers and switches search I created in our previous demonstration. Right-click the search and select Create Global Collection From. I'll name it the same as the search, US routers and switches. When we click Search Options, we can see the exact search criteria already used, and in the Explorer tab, the new dynamic global collection has already appeared. Since this one is on a 24-hour periodic update, it doesn't have any members yet. We can force an early update, though. Right-click the collection and select Update Global Collection Now. There's the list of members of our new dynamic global collection.